friends. Welcome to Cal. I'm Miss Tina. I'm Miss Sarah. Let's get started with a prayer. Dear God, we thank you for this week that you brought us through for all the variety of weather that you're showing us, warm weather and rain, and we look forward to all the things that brings, all the green flowers, green grass, and the pretty flowers, <laughs> and all that you have in store for us. Open our hearts and minds that we can learn more about you. Amen. Amen. So, looking at the decorations, today must be Paul Sunday. It is. Let me guess, it is one of your favorites. Hmm. You know, I like it a lot, but I don't know if it goes all the way up to favorite. Wow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so we found it, folks, something besides vegetables <laughs> that is not Miss Sarah's favorite. It had to happen sometime. Okay. Well, uh, do you have a favorite way to hear the Palm Sunday story? Sure. I really like the one that was in the Spark House Story Bible. And our friends at Spark House Publishing are nice enough to say, hey, go ahead and read that to your friends. Excellent. So, we have Palm Sunday. Friends, Jesus said to his disciples, I need to go to Jerusalem. I've got some important things to do, and I want to celebrate Passover with you there. Will you come with me? Sure, said the disciples. Passover is a great holiday, such good food, and what a wonderful story Passover celebrates. The exodus of God's people, the Israelites from Egypt, it's good to be with friends and family at Passover. So Jesus and his friends started to go to Jerusalem. When they got close to the city, Jesus said, I'd like two of you to go borrow a donkey in the next village over. Please tell the owner I need it, he'll understand. Yeah. <laughs> so the two friends came back with a donkey, and Jesus climbed onto its back and rode down the hill into the city of Jerusalem. The disciples followed behind him. Because he, he doesn't have the donkey yet here in this picture. <laughs> Suddenly they found themselves in a parade. People were singing and shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, here comes God's king. Hosanna, praise God. People all over heard the shouting and singing, and they ran and joined the parade, too. Hundreds of people. Thousands of people. They started taking off their coats and laying them on the ground for Jesus and the donkey to walk on. They pulled palm branches down from the trees, and they waved them as they sang. Then they threw their palms on the ground to make a path for Jesus. There he is with his donkey there. The crowds gave Jesus a royal welcome as he rode into the city, just like a king. But Jesus was a very different king. He was a king of peace. Not everyone understood that. Jesus was not at all what they were expecting. They thought the crowd was too loud and the parade was getting too big. Who is that man? Someone asked. What's going on here? Cried another. The crowd answered, This is Jesus, God's king. He has come to save us. Some of the religious leaders murmured, Hush! Jesus, tell your friends to be quiet. It's way too loud out here. But Jesus said, We could try to make these people be quiet, but that wouldn't make a difference because today the whole earth is celebrating. I guess those are the angry, confused people. Jesus and the leaders. That's a good version. I like how they explain what Passover means. And that's what I liked about it, too. Because, you know, we hear it sometimes if we hear it in the Bible, but we don't always remember. Have you ever been in a parade? I have, actually. There's a big parade in Severna Park, and I was part of a team that was, we were handing out candy along the side of the route. It turns out a mile parade is a lot more than that when you're running. Ah. I bet, but everybody was probably happy to see you because you had candy. Oh, we had candy. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been up parade? I have, kind of like a, a similar one with the Glen Burnie parade for Memorial Day. Right. Yeah. Here's something really surprising. I ended up barefoot partway through it because 
My shoes were bothering me. Uh, that's surprising, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah, not surprising at all. Yeah. So Palm Sunday kind of reminds me of like a big sporting event. Ooh, like the Quidditch Cup. Yes, exactly like that. Um, but imagine instead of, you know, they were all waving palm branches. Sure. But imagine they had foam fingers instead. Uh huh. Okay. Like these? Yeah. Okay. They're, these are even purple like you would have for a king, for royalty. All right. Oh, and everyone was yelling, Hosanna. What exactly does that mean? Hosanna? It's basically just a word for praise or joy, like hooray! And they threw their jackets on the ground. They threw their jackets on the ground. I wouldn't have liked it if I'd done that. Probably not so much. Especially when a donkey comes walking over them, you know? Right, right. Yeah, Why yeah. would they throw their jackets on the ground? Um, I don't, I mean, if I had to guess, <clears throat> yeah, the road's not paved. Okay. So it would be dusty. Yeah. And when they were thinking Jesus was a king, they wouldn't want him to get dusty, so cover it up, maybe? Huh. Okay. Let's see. That's an interesting idea. Is there, is there, I know, a song related to this? There is a song. It makes me think of a song. Mr. Ben, would you share Miss Amy's song, Jesus is Coming Down the Road with us now? Jesus. Mm. 
but they decided to wait till after Passover because that would create too much fuss. Too much drama. Yep. Yeah. And that special celebration of Passover that Jesus had with his disciples, that's where we get our tradition for communion. That sounds like a great story. So let's see. Uh, in our Spark Story Bible again, um, let's take a look and see what that says. Here we go. The Last Supper. Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world. He wanted to share his last Passover meal together with his 12 closest friends, the disciples. Jesus loved his friends and wanted to show them his love in a very caring way. As the friends got ready for the meal, Jesus put water in a large bowl and knelt down on the floor. He wanted to wash the feet of each disciple. When it's Peter's turn, Peter said to Jesus, you will never wash my feet. Jesus replied, Peter, you don't understand what I am doing now, but you will later. Peter loved Jesus so much that he said, well then don't just wash my feet, but my head and hands also. Peter wanted to be as close to Jesus as possible. As they were eating, Jesus sadly told his disciples, soon one of you will betray me. One of you will tell people who don't like me where I am so they can take me away. This upset the disciples, and each one said, It's not me you're talking about, is it? When Judas said this, Jesus gently replied, Yes, Judas, you will betray me. Then Jesus picked up a loaf of bread. He blessed it and gave some to each of his friends, saying, Take this bread and eat it. This is my body. Then Jesus picked up a cup of wine. He gave thanks and said, Drink this. It is my blood which I must give up so the sins of people may be forgiven. When the meal was over, Jesus and his friends went to a place called the Mount of Olives. Jesus said sadly, Soon you will all leave me. Peter felt bad. Even if all the others leave you, I won't, he said. Jesus looked at his dear friend and said quietly, Before the sun rises, you will pretend you don't know me three times. Goodness. Peter said, Jesus, I love you too much to ever do that to you. And all of the other disciples said the same thing. Wow. So we kind of celebrate that on Thursday. Yeah, it's usually we call it Monday Thursday and it's a Thursday. special time of communion that's a little more quiet than a Sunday morning. And it's sure. So after that, Jesus took a couple of his, the disciples and they went to go pray. Mm -hmm. And that's when Jesus was arrested. And the leaders took him out to the crowds, the same ones who had been cheering for him a few days earlier. Mm -hmm. Now they were mad. I mean, if he got arrested, he must have done something wrong, they figured. That's exactly and, how that works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The leaders said he told people he was trying to make himself a king and... They just they started to believe all the lies they were hearing, and they were scared of the leaders, too. You don't want to make the leaders mad at you. Right, yeah. right. So they went from cheering and saying, Jesus is number one, to pointing and accusing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they did. So we have Monday, Thursday, and now it would be Friday after mm -hmm. that. We call it Good Friday at church. That was the day they crucified Jesus, the day he died. So that's quite a week. Yeah. From everyone happy to see you, to plotting against you, to being punished by dying for everyone else. Right, because he didn't do anything wrong. Sure. He just said some things that made the wrong people mad. He was telling truths about people, and sometimes that can hurt. And the wrong people mad at the wrong time but he knew that was God's plan he knew what he was doing that he was going to die for our sins so that might be kind of hard for our young friends to understand that's a hard thing for me to understand that some of our grown-up friends our friends are even more grown-up than us have a hard time with that um but in order for next week for Easter to be special we have to at least talk about it think about it a little since today is still Sunday, since we haven't gotten to the Thursday and the Friday part yet, I'd like to think about the more happy parts. Me too. 
it's a fun parade, and people waving and stuff and cheering, Hosanna, Hosanna. Um, and Jesus planning, you know, he was planning to spend a special day with his friends. So how can we celebrate that at home? We could have our own palm parades. Okay. We could cut out some palms. We'll have some outlines if you need to, or you could trace your hand if you want to be really funny and make it Palm Sunday. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we'll have some of those up on Facebook in a little bit, and you can color them and cut them out and parade around the house, or if it's nice enough to go outside later, maybe, you can go outside. That way you can use your outside voice and yell, Hosanna, <laughs> really loud, or maybe your grown-ups let you do that inside. Maybe. Yeah. If he's got cool grown-ups to let you do that right. outside. If you have your foam fingers, right? You yeah. can do all of those things too. You know, Hosanna! As loud as you can while you do. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. and maybe get some your grown ups, your people to take pictures Ooh. or video while you're doing that. That would be fun if you could share those with us too. Those would be really fun to see. All right, let's say a prayer and get ready to have our Bible parades. Heavenly Father, we thank you as we head into this special week. We know that there's a lot coming up in this week uh, for Jesus and for us in our own lives here too. Um, we ask that you bless each of us as we're preparing for Easter, as we're thinking ahead to Good Friday, as we're then thinking ahead to the, the, the resurrection coming up on Sunday. Give us a heart to, to listen for you, to see you, and to celebrate the gift you gave us in your son. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.